All right, welcome back. We have Dr. Larson here again for our Pet Doctor segment. And who is this? I brought Juju. He's 21 weeks old, little male Beautiful kitty. Beautiful cat. And he's checking out everything. Oh, yeah, very uh, very curious, as you might expect as a cat. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some, just some general tips for you cat owners here. Uh, now, maybe you at home, you're a vegetarian, yep. and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to make my cat eat a vegetarian diet as well. Good idea, bad idea? Not such a good idea, and I'll no. tell you why, Tim. Uh, you and I are uh, omnivores. We'll eat meat or vegetables, we're fine, um, but cats are not. They're carnivores. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're obligate carnivores. They need that animal protein. Uh, so uh, when you change them to an all-vegetarian diet, they're not going to get the vitamins and minerals they need. They'll have be less thrifty, and they don't, won't do as well. So even if you put some meat into their food, it's a good thing they have. Yeah, so they, they got to have it. Uh, they got to have, have it. it. This is something we've talked about before um, with dogs. Let's see if I get this right. With dogs, aspirin is okay. Ibuprofen is a really bad idea. But with cats? Aspirin is kind of okay for dogs. I don't want to get that too yeah, far Yeah, it's down kind of okay. Kind of okay. Just call me. I'll tell you how much to yeah. get. But uh, cats, not okay, Tim. Not okay. Aspirin, ibuprofen, Tylenol, a whole group of pain relievers that you and I would take routinely mm -hmm. are toxic to our cats. In fact, if we gave an extra strength, say, Tylenol or aspirin to our cat, it could kill the cat. Yeah, so one dose. Bad idea. That is off limits. Um, the whiskers on a cat, maybe you think they're getting a little long and you want to trim them back a, a little yeah. bit. No, not such a good idea? Well, you, you can do it, but uh, why do it? Because they serve a purpose. Yeah. Uh, if you count whiskers, and I'm not going to be able to count your whiskers because <laughs> you're kind <laughs> of weird. not going to hold still. They have about 24 whiskers, uh, six on each side. And these whiskers, whiskers, if you look really closely, there's a little base to them, a little okay. thicker base to them. That's a bundle of nerves there. And so when they walk through things that are tight uh, and they, they don't know if their body's going to fit through because it's dark in there, their whiskers will say, well, yeah, I have clearance. I don't have. They're very sensitive to pressure okay. in the air. So if, if you happen to get the whiskers cut off here, uh, Juju, they will grow back. So my, you cat, about it. my cat just needs to assume that it's not going to fit through those tight <laughs> right. places. Um, cats love milk, right? They do. It's, the yeah. cats love milk. Should we just give them any of the milk we have? And well, uh, cats, uh, kittens need milk. Okay. Uh, but uh, as they get to be older, no, they don't need milk. Okay. In fact, it, it can cause problems because their uh, cats oftentimes become lactose intolerant. They can't handle that lactose in the Interesting. milk. Interesting. So uh, they don't have to have milk when they're adults, and I would suggest not to do it. But if you have cats, that, some people have cats that take milk just fine. Okay. And then that's okay if they're <laughs> tolerating it. And, uh, but most of the time, don't do it. Okay. You can get lactose-free milk if you really want to give your cat If cats you really milk. want to. Yeah. Uh, dog wags its tail, happy. Cat wags his tail. Uh, gray area there. Uh, gray area. I don't know if your tail's wagging or not now, but I gray area. I love how we put that. Yeah. So they can they can have some conflicts with that. In fact, it's called predatory indecision or conflict when they okay. wag the tail. Have you ever seen a cat stalk uh, something, a leaf or whatever, stalking? Or, uh, it, it'll and flirt back and forth. Yeah, it flirt back, uh, it flip back and forth. Yeah. And that they can't help it. It does that. That's that predatory okay. movement of the tail. Well, they also give us a warning sign. Okay. If you're petting the cat or handling a cat and that tail's flicking back and forth, I'd give us some room because he's in this conflict okay. stage and he's going, well, I don't know if I'm going to like this so much or not, but I may surprise you by telling you to lay off. What about when a cat purrs? Final question. What does that mean? Well, a lot of people think, well, the cat purrs because it's healthy. That's not really true. Okay. A sick cat purrs, too. They purr because they're kind of in uh, a, a peace okay. with the environment. They're, they're not really worried about anything, but not necessarily uh, <laughs> uh, sick. Okay, we better let Juju go. Juju is done. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dr. Larson. Right. Uh, we'll be coming right back. Stick with us.